Hey, what's up? This is Gary from Raz Rentals. Over the past month, I've been getting buried by all the orders and pre-orders I've been getting in the mail. Ultimates, NECA Fred Wolf toys, Masters of the Universe, my goodness. I've also found some of the Playmates action figures and it's like, you know, for months I was hoping and hoping, come on, I need to get some new toys and now it's like too much at once. So, <laughs> so you know, it's like, I gotta get moving here. So let's begin by the first, hopefully, review in a uh, quick set of reviews to come out within the next two weeks. And what better way to start than by talking about the brand new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles loot crate. Um, you know, there was a lot of anticipation for this. People have been dying to get the action figure inside here. And that's Danny Pennington from the 1990 Ninja Turtle movie. Um, now, this is the first in a series of four loot crates that we were supposed to get this year in 2021. And uh, we're already in October. And in my opinion... I think we will probably see one more this year, and that'll be it. I gotta be honest, Danny is not one of the, you know, figures that I was, like, dying to get, you know? I actually made a stupid joke a while back on Facebook and said, like, uh, they should make a two-pack of Danny and Kino and call it the, are you sure you want to buy this two-pack? But I do understand that a lot of people really want Danny. Um, I've, I've sort of been amazed at how many people I see write things like, you know, all I want is Danny, and I'm going to sell the other three loot crates. Like, seriously? You you just want Danny? You don't want Donatello dressed up like a Batman Dark Turtle? Or a Crab Shredder? Or a friggin' Mutant Shark from the Archie comics? Uh, like, I, I don't get it, but maybe that's just uh, me. I don't know. So, let's quit wasting time and open this guy up. Um, I'm going to talk about the contents within this loot crate. I've seen a few pictures, but I haven't really tried to pay too much attention to it. I haven't seen any reviews on this yet. I try to go into it as blind as possible. Um, yeah, so like I said, it's, it's pretty exciting. It'll be neat to see what's inside. Now, I do want to mention, when you get this in the mail, it comes with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles logo right on the top of here. Like, it's a good thing none of my neighbors are Ninja Turtle fans who want to steal my item and then sell it on eBay. All right. So, from what I've seen, it, it appears that there isn't as many things inside of this loot crate as some of the past loot crates. So, we'll see. All right, so this is actually pretty neat looking. You know, this is actually not, you know, 1990 movie Ninja Turtles. This is Mirage Comics. That's from, like, the very first page of Ninja Turtles 1. Um, that's a pretty awesome shot. And these are this is a coaster set. So you have one that has the turtles on it. And uh, you have another coaster back here that has the shredder. And that's from uh, Mirage Comic Books number one, too. Up next, you have a Casey Jones and Raphael pin set. Uh, these are pretty cool, you know. They're nice. They look like they're made out of metal, which is pretty nice. Ooh, they're, they're so big, they need to have two pins. You got a very neon yellow. Like, very, very... I think somebody on Facebook said it's like highlighter yellow. Yes, that's exactly what it looks like. Um, long sleeve shirt from the, uh, the first movie, you know, and like some people were like, why is it so brightly yellow? But it's like, don't you remember the nineties? Just watch the intro to Saved by the Bell and you'll see what I'm talking about. But this is a pretty nice looking shirt. During the first year of the Ninja Turtle loot crates, I was a little late to the party. So I had to order medium shirts instead of large or extra larges to fit me. So uh, I had to get medium, and I pretty much gave all my shirts to my son. And uh, so this year, again, I bought medium shirts so I can give them to him because he seems to like them. On the back, it just says Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Pretty big. Now for the main event, Danny Pennington. Danny was played by Michael Turney. I think that's how you pronounce his last name. And uh, that face right there, that looks just like him. You know, that looks great. This one... I'm a little unsure about. I feel like there's something a little off about it. I don't know if it's the paint or what, but, uh, you know, it could just be mine. But it looks like there's, I don't know, it's just not as good as the promo shots. Um, you can see here it comes with the Walkman that he, you know, steals in the movie. Um, Package-wise, it looks pretty cool. 
you know, you have, it looks just like the two packs where you kind of have like this uh, artwork from the 1990 poster of the turtles coming out of the sewer. Love that picture. That's great. Um, on the side here, you just have a shot of Danny holding his Walkman and his Sid Vicious and Nancy shirt. On the back here, you have uh, Danny standing next to Casey, next to Splinter, and next to Donatello. And uh, don't worry, I'm going to show you how he uh, scales with these guys in the movie and how this toy scales with these guys. Um, down here, you have sort of, it's more of an explanation of the movie. It's not really an explanation of Danny. The only place where it really mentions Danny is their biggest foes are the Foot Clan who recruit lost kids like young Danny off the street to join their nefarious gang. Other than that, it's just kind of generic information. Um, that's a great looking shot of those action figures. All right, like here, this shot right here of him on the side of the box, like that looks so much like him in the movie too. Um, like that looks pretty great. And unfortunately, like I said, mine just does not look as good as that. So I'm going to open this guy up. I'm going to move him around. Hopefully he doesn't need any loosened up and hopefully nothing breaks when I pull him out of here. And uh, I will get back to you in a second. All right, so here he is, Danny, out of the package. Now, I feel a little bad about this because I'm going to be a little negative in this review. And uh, I feel bad because I was a little negative in my uh, NECA 1990 April review. And that was like the last NECA review I did. So I feel like I'm dumping on them. But, you know, I just I got to be honest here and point out the flaws uh, in this action figure. Let's talk about some of the good things. Uh, I think the folds and the clothes, I think that all looks cool, you know? It's cool, uh, like the fold, it, it looks somewhat natural, especially in the jeans here. I think what is amazing is that they were able to get this Sid Vicious t-shirt, you know? That's pretty awesome. However, uh, they must not have been able to get Nancy because Nancy's not there. Nancy's in the film, but... She is not on this t-shirt, so maybe there was a, a rights thing with her family not al allowing that to be on this toy. Who knows? So, I feel like, uh, like, this guy is, like, way too small, all right? Like, if you watch the movie, his proportions look a lot different than this. Uh, I think a lot of that is because, um... NECA reused their John Connor body from Terminator 2. Now, I don't have John Connor to really show what that looks like next to this, but you can definitely tell that this is a more of a, a you know, young teenager body than an older teenager body. Um, you know, when Terminator 2 was filmed, Eddie Furlong was around 13 years old. And during the filming of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 1, Michael Turney was 15. And as a parent... I can tell you that 15-year-olds uh, can be a lot taller than 13-year-olds. Plus, Eddie Furlong's a, like a little tiny guy, from what I understand. Um, so, yeah, like he is not the right size proportionately or just uh, in scale with like, you know, the Ninja Turtles and Casey Jones. In the film, Danny is like almost as tall as April and Casey. And by the look of it, he looks taller than the Ninja Turtles. Look how tall this Danny figure is next to everybody else. Oh, shoot. Wait a minute. He fell over. <laughs> All right. So here he is standing next to everybody else for real. And, you know, still, he's he's just like way too short. He's tiny compared to all these other characters. Um, you know, Eddie Furlong was probably a tiny 13-year-old boy <laughs> or teenager. Um, uh this body type next to these characters, he looks almost like he's probably like a 10 year old in, in my opinion. You know, he looks, uh, he looks really small compared to everybody. Even in the film, he has the top of his head is around like, um, the shredders eye level. I think, um, so like he's like way tinier than the shredder here. So like, it's like I said, I don't, I don't want to dump on this figure, but like this thing is, this thing is not accurate <laughs> to say the least. It's, it's a, 
I don't know. It's a little bit of a miss. I could see why that this is the, you know, Loot Crate exclusive. Like, they were like, oh, yeah, we'll put it in Loot Crate because not everybody's going to want to get this. But then, you know, it also kind of feels like, well, if you're going to do that, like, why would you, like, half-ass it so much? Like, you mean you don't have another body? You couldn't use, like, a... Like, you... Like, Marty McFly in Back to the Future, he's he's a small guy. I don't know what his action figure looks like or how it scales with uh, April and Casey Jones here or the Turtles, but... I, like, you couldn't build him off of that, like, smaller body. <laughs> so, like, I hate to be that guy, but, like, you know, I gotta call it like I see it and, you know, point these things out, in my opinion, at least. Maybe you don't mind the scale so much, you're just happy to have a Danny figure standing next to your movie line. I understand that completely, you know. Um, but, you know, if you really wanted to have something that was um, accurate, uh, you know, this is... You know, they, this needed a lot of work here. Um, so, Danny comes with two different heads. First, you have this one with the bandana. You know, the, the Foot Clan, the sign of the foot, or the... What does he say to him? You wear his symbol upon your forehead, or something like that. Um, so, this head, as I said, whenever I opened up and, like, showed him in the package, I don't think this one looks as good as the other one. I think that the proportions of the face are pretty decent, but like the eyes are, you know, he's looking upright all the time. And uh, it looks like his lips are like, like they messed the paint up or there's like a scratch on the lip or something like that. So it's just kind of like, you know, a little buggy or a little gunky or something like that, that just kind of, you know, does not look as good. Um, But like I said, it, like the, if you look at it from the side, that looks pretty decent. Um, yeah, it's just the the paint job on this head is not the best. So in general, I probably won't display him with this head. I will display him with the other head, which is fine. You know, if you want to get uh, picky about it, like he does you know, wear this t-shirt in the film without the bandana when he's in the sewer or whenever he throws his bandana on the ground. So, you know, you you can get away with pulling off that look and still having it somewhat movie accurate. So what would you call this uh, face sculpt? Is this the teenage angst face sculpt? This, like I said, I think this one looks a lot better than the other one. You know, the paint on this one looks great. Um, Everything seems like it's lined up perfectly. His eyes aren't looking up in the air. He's looking straight at me. He, he looks really mad at me. He looks like he'd be telling me, like, it's Dan now. Dan. You know, it's, I think it's pretty good. I think his hair looks pretty nice, too. And uh, if you turn his head around, it keeps the, the mass and the proportions of his face pretty well. I don't know. I think, like I said, I think that this head looks fine. I think it... Uh, I will probably always display him with his head and not the other one. I also kind of think that it looks better on the neck. I feel like with the other head on top of his neck, it maybe um, made it look like his neck was a little shorter or something like that. This one looks a little better. It looks like he's got more room between the between his chin and like a, his sternum or his collarbone or whatever. Um, the other one, you know, like I said, it looked like it was kind of like stuck in the, into his shoulders or something like that. This one looks better. See, you get this, like, weird effect because the T-shirt is, like, it's a separate piece. It's this, like, vinyl or rubber piece on top, and it kind of, it's kind of bulky. So it doesn't, it makes him look a lot bulkier than he should be. Like, it doesn't look like the T-shirt is sitting flush on his body or, like, you know, it's, I don't know. There's just something a little strange about it. So, you know, it is awesome, as I said before, that they were able to get the licensing to uh, have Sid Vicious on this shirt. You know, that's pretty awesome. But like I said, Nancy is completely removed. There's not even a hint of her being there. She's completely taken out. Um, the design and the pattern and everything like that looks very similar. I don't even know what any of this stuff says. I'm not like the hugest uh, Sex Pistols fan or Sid Vicious fan. So I can't help you there. But apparently... Uh, Danny is a pretty big fan because he not only does he wear one Sid Vicious shirt in the movie, but he wears two of them. If you didn't know, I'm sure you probably knew, but whatever. All right. So even on the back here, you know, this um, pattern 
Uh, looks very similar to how it looks in the film. So that's cool. Um, I think that, like, uh, you know, his arms, you know, this is just, like, some of the scale thing. Like, his arms are, like, way too thin. They just, they look like uh, tubes, you know. They don't, they don't really have much definition. I don't really like that Danny only has one set of hands. You know, he has these tight, gripping hands. They're too tight. They make him look angsty or, like, angry all the time. Like, he's either gonna start throwing punches or take a crap. <laughs> I much I would have preferred him to have a much uh like looser grip kind of hands or a uh, a more of a uh, relaxed kind of hand but you know what can you do so the knees here <laughs> here's where you're getting into uh nitpicky territory if you want to get crazy this is something that I never even really paid that much attention to but I, when I was watching the movie looking for um screenshots I noticed when he was sitting down talking to Splinter that he, his um, his knees are ripped out. You know, he's one of those cool kids that uh, was walking around with ripped jeans before it became, like, popular. And they were selling ripped jeans in stores for, you know, $100 or whatever. So this toy does not have ripped knees. Um, but, you know, you probably don't even care or even notice that. You know, I pretty much don't. Um, the shoes... I don't know what his shoes look like in the film. I'm not even gonna... They look pretty awesome. You know, all the details and everything like that on here look really good. They actually look like shoes that are, like, you know, on somebody's feet. It's not just, like, they're, like, too small or anything like that. There actually seems to be, like, you know, it looks like there's some kind of structure underneath. So that's pretty cool. The paint, like, on the jeans, like, how they have, um... You know, like that lighter brushing on top of the blue to try to make it look like jeans. Just looks really great. All right, so Danny's articulation. What all does he have? Well, his head is on a ball joint. You can easily pop his head off and on, which is good. Uh, his shoulders rotate around and they have a hinge. It's kind of tricky, though. I feel like, I don't know, it's not like, like you can look in there and you can see it. The hinge. Um, is there a cut here? No. The elbow joint swivels and there's a hinge there. You have swivel and a hinge at the wrist. I don't think you... You might have some kind of upper torso articulation, but it's very difficult to move it because of the t-shirt. Um, he does twist at the waist. His legs can rotate out this direction, but the t-shirt starts to stop it. They can rotate forward, and they also can um, swivel around. There's like a, a hip cut or whatever. The knees are single-jointed knees. They swivel around, and they have a hinge. These knees actually look pretty good. You know, I'm a big fan of single-jointed knees and elbows, so I think that these work well, and they look good, too. I like... I don't, they don't bend nearly to like a 45 or a 90 degree angle, but they still work well. The shoes kind of get in the way a little bit for some of the, the foot articulation, but you can still move it around. It seems to rotate quite a lot, actually. He seems pretty sturdy, too. Like, you know, some of the Loot Crate figures from last year, they were ex exceptionally difficult to move. And ex I broke my... I think my bunny rock steady or something like that because he was so stiff. Um, all the joints on here move really well. I haven't had any sticking. Nothing seems too loose so he's not wobbling all over the place. It seems pretty perfect. Danny has one accessory and that's this Walkman. Um, this looks pretty cool. The detail and everything like that looks pretty nice. The silver looks good. Um, I like... Uh, just the different pattern on the back. You have those two arrows. That's that's nice, you know. It's made of a, of a very soft vinyl, you know. It bends a lot. Um, now, this actually does not look like the Walkman in the movie. And, uh, you know, the probably the Walkman in the movie is some kind of, like, you know, it's probably owned by some company, the style of it or whatever. It's very... It's very specific Walkman, you know, so they probably couldn't get the rights to produce the same design as the Walkman in the film. So they probably just had to make something generic 
and, you know, something that will look good with this action figure. So Danny can wear the earphones, you know, they look really good on his head, and they somewhat, it's not too difficult to line them up with his ears. I think that, you know, is this, it's been so long since I've had to wear earphones like this, you know, is this the direction that they go, or do they go the other direction? I don't even remember. Not only am I old, but my memory is going out the window. Um, so he can hold the Walkman in his hand, so that's good. This is a good accessory for him to him to have, you know, so he can tune out all the crap in the world when you're, you know, when you're a teenager, you don't want to listen to anything. All you want to do is listen to your music and say, screw the man, don't tell me what to do, I'm going to go join a ninja gang, what do you think about that? Here's Danny next to a bunch of other characters from this movie line. And man, everybody just towers over him. You know, and he's such a teenager too. He probably doesn't even re realize that there's monsters and ninjas and crazy dudes in hockey masks standing around him. They're probably like, hey, Danny, I'm a Ninja Turtle. How you doing? And he's probably like, mm hmm. I can't take any credit for this because I did not come up with this idea. This was something I saw on Facebook. You know, a bunch of people were posting saying that uh, they had hoped that they could uh, put Danny's head on a foot soldier body. And, but when they would take the foot, the, you know, Danny's head and put it on the foot soldier body, it looks like this. You know, it is way too small. You know, uh, it does not fit this body at all. So unfortunately, you can't have Danny dressed up like a foot soldier. Um, like I don't, like I said, I don't remember who was posting that the pictures they took originally. Um, so if you're that dude, write in the comments below and say that that was you. Like I, like I said, you could have full credit. You know, I didn't, I didn't come up with it. Well, you know, another problem, too, is the, um, you know, the joints don't match up either. Like, the the actual ball is in the bottom of the foot soldier head. So, like, the neck is the, you know, like, the female joint or whatever. And same thing with, with Danny's head. He has, he does not have the ball in the bottom of his head. So, you know, nothing's going to keep that in place. Also... It's just way too tiny. And that is the brand new NECA Loot Crate Danny Pennington action figure. You know, if you were hoping to get a hundred, like a super accurate uh, version of Danny, this is not it, unfortunately. Um, you know, and, and like, you know, and like, like NECA has done such an amazing job with this toy line, just like these Ninja Turtles, you know, looking at their faces and their bodies and stuff like that. Like, when they came out, like, I was amazed. Like, I couldn't believe how accurate and close they were to the movie, you know? They were some of the best Ninja Turtle toys I had ever seen up to that point. Possibly the best. I think a lot of people would say that these are the best Ninja Turtle toys that have ever been released. Um, so, like, to see Danny, you know, not get that same sort of treatment is, is kind of disappointment, you know? I think that uh, his face sculpt, this one in particular, not the other one as much... Uh, I think looks a lot like him. I think they did an amazing job, but they just dropped the ball with the body for some reason. I don't, I don't know why, but, um, yeah, uh, I think this is cool to have, you know, I'm glad that I have it, even though it's not the best, but, uh, you know, it'll look cool on the shelf until they perhaps make a, an ultimate Danny Pennington action figure. Maybe he could have swappable shirts. He could have both the Sid, the black Sid shirt, and he could have this uh, shirt. Or he could come with, like, the Ninja Turtle drawings. That'd be awesome. Why haven't we gotten, like, little Ninja Turtle drawings? Or maybe he could come with a wallet with 20 bucks in it. That'd be cool, too. So, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think, and talk to you later.